We see a uh, beautiful view of the Soyuz on its arrival as the uh, two spacecraft track off the uh, coast of New Zealand headed out across the Pacific. Following it, uh, beautiful launch from uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan uh, earlier this afternoon, about uh, five hours, 26 minutes ago, the uh, Soyuz, once it reached orbit, uh, performed a series of automated um, uh, deployments of its solar arrays and its antenna that are used for that automated rendezvous and docking sequence. As you saw, those solar rays deployed. If you recall, uh, one of the solar rays did not deploy on the most recent uh, Soyuz arrival, which uh, did not have any impact on the Soyuz's uh, power um, supply. But uh, uh, and, this, and in fact, that uh, solar ray did deploy um, shortly after the Soyuz uh, docked to the station. So the current Soyuz uh, TMA-15M arriving uh, today uh, is um, uh, basically will be the fourth of a series of uh, visiting vehicles to the International Space Station. Uh, again, joining two cargo vehicles and another crew vehicle, the Soyuz 40 or the TMA-14M spacecraft. The uh, fly around is underway with the Soyuz again in an automated rendezvous uh, sequence. As uh, you see, one of the um, sections of the huge solar array pairs that uh, make up four separate pairs of, uh, of uh, solar energy gathering um, uh, systems for the International Space Station to provide all of the electrical power to the complex. Roll maneuver. And again, now up in the upper left as the roll maneuver continues, that's the ATV-5, and it is docked to the aft end of the uh, Russian segment, the service module that uh, provided the early um, living quarters for uh, the first expeditions uh, to the International Space Station uh, during its uh, early assembly phase. Inaudible. And uh, we get re we have reports that the uh, Soyuz is in a station keeping mode in its approach corridor now. Or if it's not the uh, FGB or the Zarya control module, you can see uh, uh, faintly the retracted solar rays looks like an accordion. Uh, those were retracted long ago as they no longer were needed as the station's uh, solar ray panels were added. They pro provided uh, ample uh, power ability, capability to the station's uh, systems. Do you have the light on? Yes, it is on. Range 60, rate negative 0.28, copy. The target is within one degree, left bottom corner, copy. Closing it at about two um, tenths of a meter per second and about 60 meters away from docking. The newest member on her first flight into space is Samantha Cristoforetti, representing the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. She, uh, she will become the 216th visitor uh, to the International Space Station. 
дальность около 30. Range about 30. Минута. Копи. Входим вниз. Мишень справа внизу в пределах одного градуса. The target is on the bottom right within one degree. The antennas have retracted uh, to make sure that they're out of the way uh, of the uh, docking sequence, and you can see the docking probe there on the Soyuz as it uh, closes in, now uh, just under 30 meters from the station, a, a delicate approach of one-tenth of a meter per second. The in the bottom center within one degree. I can see the docking port. Copy. Range about 20. Copy. The target is on the bottom within one degree. Copy. And we're standing by for contact and capture. Anton, everything is fine. Crosshairs are aligned within one degree in the center. Everything is stable. Range to the target about two meters. Range is about one meter. Crosshairs aligned. The target is almost in the center. Expecting contact. We have contact. 48 minutes after the hour, the Soyuz TMA-15 has arrived at the International Space Station.